Hello, today is Thursday, October 5th, 2006. This is Sandpaperback, or Josh if you prefer, and this is the first unofficial Game Trading Zone podcast. I had recorded one of these a couple of weeks ago and never got around in coding or uploading it, so we'll just call this the first one. And with that, we'll get started. Uh, I'm just going to kind of run down some of the hot forum topics this week, or today, and uh, we'll, we'll see what else we've got. All right. So first up is a thread by Richie. Uh, TGS PS3 titles running at 1080p at 60 frames per second. You know, I read the article that Richie's post linked to, and they demoed some of the features of the PS3 uh, web browser, photo transitions, music visualizations, text, video, voice chat. Uh, I mean, photo transitions and music visualizations I have on my Xbox with XBMC. Text, video, voice chat. That's why I have a computer in the internet. Richie, Sony fanboy, hates Microsoft. And really, what else are you going to say? So next thread on the Hot Topics list is Oreo's Outrageous Water Bills. He's paying about 100 bucks a month. And he asked for recommendations, and basically it boils down to stop flushing four times per shit. Uh, my recommendation, eat more bran, fruit, whole grains, water, buy a fiber supplement, anything to soften your shit. Your ass must ache like a motherfucker. And then somehow it turned into a discussion about sluts in Washington. Hopefully they've got softer shit. And so, like I said, that's the end of the hot topics. Moving on to bad traders this week. Uh, First BTR report we've got. uh, I guess that's redundant. Anyway, first BTR we have is Killian's Delight Against Me, not Sandpaper Back, the user named me. Uh, Basically, Killian's Delight sent and still waiting to receive from me who has been putting it off for a couple of weeks and lying about when he sends. And I looked through some of his past trade reports and it looks like, you know, it's not an uncommon thing for him, but once the BTR has been filed, he usually resolves it. Hopefully this one works out. Uh, Next one was a BTR that Bill posted about Escalante, who's uh, had two past accounts each have two BTRs on them. So he's a real winner. Stay away. And third is Saril versus Matman2. This is a good one. Both users are new traders. Saril has three trades and Matman has eight trades. Saril sent uh, Sukadin2, Breath of Fire 3, Kingdom Hearts 2, and a Breath of Fire 3 guide. Which I'm figuring, you know, that lot, I don't know, somewhere around 100 bucks, maybe? I don't know. And uh, he sent to Matman, and that's it. Hasn't received anything. Uh, Matman says his package was returned, and he's going to send it again. But what are the chances? Um... New traders should not trade with other new traders. Just stick with starred traders until you're comfortable and can have new traders send first to you. I, you know, it's plastered all over the site. Why, why do people have such a hard time getting that through their heads? Don't know. Anyway, enough of the bad. Let's move on to the good. Uh, Bill implemented a couple of new features this week. 
if you don't follow the site feedback forum, you probably wouldn't know, and maybe you don't even care. But uh, one thing that came about as a result of this podcast <laughs> was closing personal forums. Uh, previously, if you had chosen to not have your personal forum active, it just hid it from everybody. But if they already had a link on their uh, on their forum bar, they could still go in and post, read the messages. Now, disabling your personal form actually disables it. People aren't able to use it or, uh, you know, post or read threads. It just closes it. And the other new feature that I just read, um, you can now have emails sent anytime you get a new trade message. And if I weren't on this website as frequently during the day as I am, uh, I would really appreciate this. Anytime you get any message, uh, be it somebody sending or adding a note to your trade, you'll get an email about it, if you so choose. So, good job, Bill. Appreciate it, everything you do. And now, finally, uh, last thing I'm going to talk about. Top five traders this month, so far... Uh, we're only, you know, a few days into the month here, but Ron, Mega NES Man, and Forgotten Freshness all have six trades each so far, which isn't bad, five days into the month. And then David777 and Gorf888 have five each. Fascinating, they both have numbers in their name. 777-888. Sign of the Apocalypse. All right, and very last thing, uh, you know, this has probably been pretty dull for you to listen to. I tried to keep it as short as possible. Uh, you know, 10 to 15 minutes is what I'm shooting for, because really, why do you want to listen to me uh, running down what's on the website that you visit? So anyway, if you're interested in uh, helping me make this better, or even participating actively, uh, go to my personal forum, and I'll open it back up. This is where you can get the podcast and where you can uh, suggest threads or features, whatever you'd like to hear. Uh, also, if you would like to co-host, I guess, or be a part of the podcast, go to gizmoproject.com and download the Gizmo Project software. It's like Skype. Uh, the only reason I chose it over Skype is because it has a call recording feature. So, uh, my username is Sandpaperback. Go ahead and add me to your contact list and uh, give me a ring. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Uh, hope this has at least eaten up 10 minutes of your time. And maybe next one will be better. All right. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.